What's up guys, Keton847 here. And today, I am going to talk about uh, the Octo Expansion and my thoughts about it. Because I really love the Octo Expansion so much in Splatoon 2. So without further ado, let's, let's begin. I remember when I saw the trailers for it, I was super hyped because you can play as an Octoling. Like, that's literally insane. Like, you can play as one of these little little guys. And first of all, I, I have all three amiibo. I'm just gonna leave them in the the side. Uh, I was so like like impressed by what Nintendo has done to it, like a cool expansion. Like for example, what they did to Breath of the Wild, I was somewhat disappointed in the d expansion they did for it. Cause I wasn't it it was good, but like, it, nothing really grabbed my attention. Nothing really changed. Everything felt the same besides like a new boss, like Moscow Shia. Like, th that's not exciting. Octo Expansion literally explores a different world inside Splatoon while keeping it the same world. But uh, you play as one of uh, these Octolings. Boy or girl, I chose the girl because waifu. <laughs> I, I, um, so basically you gotta go through these levels to like, uh, it was very weird. Uh, it was like these, I really don't remember the Octo expansion that much. It's, I, I think it's been like a, two years, but, um, I, I sure I remember. Uh, you you play as an octoling who forgot your memory or something like that. You play as the octolings and you you traverse traverse through these levels and you gotta get through. And you're 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 like every time there's like different levels you gotta beat. It's like different challenges. So like let's say uh, oh you don't get that ball in time to go in the hole or whatever. You you die basically. The you start the whole thing over. Where the little cucumber guy. Uh, he, uh, every time you, uh, fail a mission or do something wrong in the, the thing, you, you basically die. Uh, once you get most of those missions in, there's, like, these collectibles called Mem Cakes, and I really, really like them so much, and they're, they're pretty neat. They're, like, nice little collectibles I can put on my, on my, you know, like, my little catalog or something. Uh, they're, they're really neat, and they, I just want to, like, they look like... They look like little little marshmallows you would find in uh, Lucky Charms. It, it's so cool. There was a lot of different. Uh, there was this. Uh, there's a lot of different things you do in the game, where it's like you gotta get like, you have like different armor suits or something like that. Not this sounds weird, but like it, the many challenges. Like I remember this one challenge where you, you gotta break a bunch of boxes. And you gotta find the box that has a certain key. I think. Under like a, a, a time span of like, what? I think like one minute or, I'm, I'm dumb. Something like that. The bosses were, they were a little bit, they weren't hard, they weren't, they weren't easy either. They were just okay, you know? Uh, the levels were pretty challenging at, at, at like sometimes, but once you, once you got the hang of it, it was, it was kind of fun and easy. Let me talk about my, literally my favorite part of the Octo Expansion. The fucking soundtrack is fire. I don't, that sounds so cringy. But I love the soundtrack. It's so amazing. All the new tracks are so amazing. Like literally like most, like most of the Splatoon songs are pretty outstanding in, in my opinion. But this one literally like makes a whole new like, like style to it. I love the little the 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 victory animation or not animation but the victory music that plays when you finish a level. It's so cool and it's just so cool to hear how the beats hear in your 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 ears and it feels so satisfying to listen to. It's so amazing. Uh I really I really love the connection to uh Splatoon 1. Uh spoilers but come on it's two years since it came out, but I love how, uh, what's his name? It wasn't it, wasn't it Agent 3? 
Agent 3. I'm, I'm just gonna say Agent 3. Uh, uh, it's like it's your first character and you gotta... I remember there's this part where it's like, oh, uh, how does Agent 3 look like? And you can literally create Agent 3 in the freaking... in like without even playing Splatoon 1. That, that's so amazing. That basically, your, your avatar from Splatoon 1 literally comes to life in here, which is amazing. I'm like, oh, my, my character in Splatoon 1 was a guy, but my character in Splatoon 2 is a girl, and it's an Octo girl. I'm like, oh, they're, they're different. They're, they're different. It's so amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, it was just insane to see how how like the many connections to it know what i mean one one of my favorite parts was literally the the end of the game you get to defeat like this freaking statue of like a human being the villain in this game was not the game but the villain in this expansion is freaking it's a freaking telephone who who's been alive for like what ten thousand years or something like that where humans were extinct it's so wacky and insane to see but I just love that. I, I love how Splatoon does that. It's so amazing. Uh, I really, really love, like, you know, to make they make humans evil, which is kind of funny in a way. But, but let's be honest, we kind of are. But uh, <laughs> it was just weird and wacky to look at, and I really love that. The final boss in this game is outstandingly amazing. Uh, Agent 3 was pretty hard. I, I can't lie. I still haven't been like the one that unlocked the little the toothpick. It was so super, super difficult, and uh, I I need to complete that soon. But anyways, get that out of the way. Uh, my favorite part of the game was literally destroying the statue and painting it with your color. Like you like spray it with. Oh my God, that does not. That's not right, guys. I'm I'm not a perv. Okay. You like spray it with your ink, and it, it just boom. That's that's literally where it ends, and you uh. It was just super colorful and amazing to see, and it was such a, it was such a cool ride to go through. I think this DLC is one of the best Nintendo DLCs that they put out so far, besides Smash Bros. But that's like a character like expansion, not like a story expansion, or like a, you can play as a different, like a, like a different species, like an Octoon. And that's another thing I like. I like the, the, the designs for the Octolings. They look super nice and I really like them. And I wish they gave the boy the boy Octoling more hairstyles. And yeah, that's that's kind of my thoughts on Splatoon 2. It's one of the greatest, uh, or not greatest, or DLC that Nintendo has made. And it's better than the actual story mode in Splatoon 2, the normal one. So what do you guys think? Do you like the uh, Octo expansion in Splatoon 2? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, and don't forget, stay safe guys. Peace out. Bye.